What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. Today we're going to be making some basmati brown rice. We're going to make it with some acorn squash. It's going to be really delicious, super smoky and flavorful. So let's get right to work. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so every time we upload a new video you get notified for brand new healthy recipes. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. We have here about two tablespoons of freshly minced cilantro, two cups of brown basmati rice. This is actually parboiled. Uh, it cooks a lot faster than regular uh, brown rice. It's a company called Echo Life that's available at Sam's Club. Here I have four cups of vegetable broth. I have one white onion diced, this is about a half a cup. Extra virgin olive oil. About a quarter cup of diced, these are pasilla peppers. They're kind of like poblanos, but a little bit spicier. You could use bell peppers if you like for the flavor, if you don't have these on hand, or also poblanos. This is smoked salt mixed with uh, chili. Uh, liquid smoke, one teaspoon of that to add some smokiness flavor to the recipe. And I have half of a one acorn squash that I diced into one inch squares. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start up with our aromatics over in our pot. All right, and at 275 Fahrenheit, we're gonna start building our flavors by adding one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil to the pot. And this is the base of flavor. This is how I start most of my recipes um, with the aromatics. So the onion first. And add our pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the squash in. I'm going to give that about five or six minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and add our rice. I'll be back when this is cooked down more. Probably about eight minutes actually, cooking it down and then adding the rice. All right, so basically this is what we want. We want a little bit of brownness and some of those little uh, bits on the bottom of the pan to add some extra flavor. Now we're ready to add in a brown rice. And I like to usually toast my rice a little bit first uh, before adding the water. So I'm just gonna let it go for a few seconds to absorb some of that flavor. I'm actually gonna bring up the heat to high, 425, to toast it and to give another component of flavor. Believe it or not, this will make a difference in the flavor of your final dish. And you'll be able to start smelling the rice when it starts to toast. I'm gonna go ahead and add in about a teaspoon of liquid smoke. about a teaspoon of our smoked salt. Stir that in so the rice absorbs it. We're adding the water to dilute it. And it smells amazing right now. The smoked salt with that liquid smoke in there and the toasted rice giving off an awesome, awesome aroma. So now what we're gonna do is 
I'm gonna throw in the water. Basically, I'm gonna get this up to a boil. Once it starts bubbling, I'm gonna put a lid on it, bring it down to simmer, and cook it for about another 30 minutes until all the water evaporates and it becomes uh, nice and airy. So we'll be back and um, we'll see how it looks. All right, so this is where we're at now, guys, with the rice. It is nice, nice and fluffy. So it's cooked, everything looks really good. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of smoked paprika, which I didn't have in the beginning of the ingredients, but the color is really yellow, so I wanted to add a little bit more smokiness and also a little bit of color by adding, well, whatever's left of this container, which was probably about a teaspoon, um, to the mixture. Mix it in. And I just want to get a little bit more color to the rice. And also flavor. Some of the squash is going to break down. It's okay. It's going to make the rice richer and creamier. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and add the cilantro in. And... Stir it, and we are ready to serve this beautiful rice recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and get it on a plate for you guys and give it a taste. All right guys, so here is the final dish. I added a little bit of microgreens or sprouts. These are actually radish sprouts that I'm experimenting with growing here in our studio kitchen. Um, they're really, really pretty. I uh, just cut a few of them off uh, the beginning of the growth cycle. Probably should I let them go uh, longer, but I'm really impatient. So I wanted to kind of like test them and see how they looked on the plate. I really like how they look. And these have like 5,000 times more nutrients than the actual grown radishes. So they're really amazing powerhouse. I'm going to add just a little tiny drizzle of extra virgin olive oil over the top. And that's basically our recipe. It is basmati brown rice with uh, acorn squash and uh, some smoky flavors in it. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you really soon on the next one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this rice and squash a taste. Mm. Wow. Mm. Squash came out just perfect. First bite, I got a little bit of the onion, the sauteed onion in there. Sweet and smoky. The rice, mm. it's cooked just right. It's tender, it's nice and airy. Mm. The squash tastes just amazing. Really, really delicious recipe. Could have went great with some mushrooms. Mm. This is an amazing, easy to make recipe.